So James and I bought this table off Marketplace yeah. and, okay, I did. <laughs> and it looked like it was in much better condition, to be honest. As you can see a little bit in the sunlight though, the edges are warped, um, probably left out in the rain. There's also a lot of scuffing. So we're actually going to cut. So we made this makeshift protractor. We're gonna trace um, on the inside right up to where um, where the wood is still good and see if we can repaint the table and and save it in order to put it on our roof deck. Ready to do this? Woo! Without it wrapping around. My feet are hot! Whew. Okay. So you're it's gonna hold slot. this right in the center and I'm gonna walk around. Oh my god, my feet are burning! I need to get my I need to get my shoes up. I'll be right back. Ah! Where are your socks? Okay. Ready? Oh my god! I'm not I already ready. did it. <laughs> are you ready? I'm gonna close my eyes. Don't close your eyes. Ready? It's, oh not, it's okay if it's not perfect. God. Oh, it's gonna be a butt shot. Butt shot. Okay, I'm gonna have to go on the inside of this a little bit because I can feel the. Your edge is so. Look at every one step, there's a groove. <laughs> Shut up. How am I gonna get around you? I should have been going that way. <laughs> I'm going away. Right. I'm gonna. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at that. Wait, let's see if I did it proper. Oh, buddy! This thing didn't wiggle once. <laughs> It'll, you'll It'll be cutting through, right? real easy and then you'll go, uh, why did it get so hard? It's going through that wood on the bottom. Okay, so it'll you be just fine. keep going, but go slower. Yeah, I mean. I ended up making a smaller circle because underneath, <laughs> underneath are these parts where the legs were fastened and I don't want to hit those with the jigsaw. So just moved it in a little bit more to hopefully avoid those so I can just have a nice, clean, easy cut all the way around. I'm watching the sunset on Tennessee I could capture it, I never will Cause I'm not a painter, can't stay in the lines Just sitting here sipping on dandelion wine It's starting to rain but I don't feel a thing Sitting Well, they're looking at each other. I gotta fix it. I gotta do something. I screwed it up. <laughs> they all have goofy smiles. Goofy. That's what we're going for. Goofy. So pour me one more best day.
Alrighty, so next on the list, I have to get the bus roof ready to get it painted with the Tropical. But before I can do that, it's always a couple more steps or a million more steps. I have to fill these holes. The mistake I made here, I get to learn a new skill today, how to patch holes. And of course, the ones up here from when we removed the AC. There's also rust, so I need to sand that off, hence the sander. And then hopefully, get it painted. And then once we get it painted, we can put up the rest of the framing. And then actually get the deck boards up here, and the table and get the skylight in. That's another thing. It is fall now, and I'm racing against the weather. A lot of this stuff has to be done in warm weather. And um, so here we go. This is like one of the last warm days, I feel like. All right, anyways, I am rambling. I'm gonna keep going now. Bye. <laughs> Hello again. So it is a new day because I was not feeling super confident mixing the Dura glass and the hardener in order to fill the holes in the roof of the bus. So I called in a professional, my dad, <laughs> who's up on the bus right now sanding. Because I did not sand off enough paint to actually fill the holes in and let it stick. So. He's up there, he's gonna help me with this part of the process. And then hopefully after that, I'll actually get the roof painted and ready to go. Oh wow, like you really grinded it off. Yeah. Okay, now yeah, I know. Yeah, because, because the, the, um, you don't wanna put, you don't wanna put the Bondo or, or fiberglass over paint. It oh. Won't, it won't stick. Okay, good to know. Right, See, I would've messed that up. <laughs> yeah, we need the paint now. Okay, I got it, it's over here. Six holes. You don't need that much. That looks like a lot for six holes. <laughs> well, I want to make sure you, I, I'm not mixing it twice. Okay, I see. Teach me so I know if I have to do this ever again. Well, this here for this amount, you don't want to add too much, too much hardener. So I would say it's hard to. This hardener should do that whole can. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. This one little tube. So you only have to take like this much. That's it. Really? Wow. Yep. Okay. Because if you put too much in it, by the time you're done. By the time you get back on the roof, it'll be hard. Okay, gotcha. When I push the, the, this through the hole, okay. just flatten it out on the inside so it's not a big, just a glob. With this, okay. Yeah. You see it? Yep. Alright, good. Well, that was easy. Well, because you're here, though. Okay, while I was on the inside, let's in. Oh wow, he really covered the area. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, because the thing, the you can't just fill the hole because you, if you just fill the hole, it's gonna fall in. True. If you gotta make this all one, then now what I'm doing is because the see the roof has moving every time I move it. Buckling in. As it's getting harder, this is. I'm filling it in more. Okay. Well, I, I definitely feel better having you have done that because I, I I would have I would have messed that up. I'm just shaping it now, so it's easier to sand. <sighs> Do you trust me? Can I spread the goop? The goop? <laughs> the goop? Okay, I can spread this one. Well, you have to record me so I can prove that I actually did something in this process. Make sure it's smooth. Okay, okay. 
This is the one that really needed it, right? That's her. That's her. Is it? Leave it on. Leave it on. Stop oh. playing with it. <laughs> Let us show. Yeah, go ahead. No, put more on there. Fill that in. But keep, make sure it's smooth like these. Shit. That's right. Good, good, good. Okay. Ah! This stuff stinks. Oh, it does. It does. It's on your face, Dad. And so on my face? <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. So now Dad is putting some. Oh. Careful. Oh, poor Dad, I will fall off the ladder. <laughs> do not do that. He's putting some rust on that raw metal just to make sure it doesn't rust. That looks really good, Dad. Huh? That looks good. Can't even tell there was a hole. Besides, well, be besides the, <laughs> the pain. But thank you, Dad. Love you so much. You'll be seeing him a lot more in the future, I'm sure. Especially when those windows get put back in. Yeah, that'll be. <laughs> I know this looks atrocious, but hopefully when I take the tape off and after the sealant levels off a little bit, it should be pretty clean looking. Let's see. Okay, so once I got all the tape off, looks pretty clean. And most importantly, it's filling all of the holes and seams that were around the feet so no water can get in. That with the butyl tape, I think we've got a pretty good sealant against any water. Got a lot more to go. Finally on the last stages of prep to get this roof painted. The sun is out and the roof is drying up from being sanded and washed yesterday. So now the last thing I'm doing is going around, I'm taping all the edges. I'm also using some acetone to make sure that everything is super clean. And uh, after that, should be ready to paint. All right, all taped up. This is where the skylight's gonna be, so I just put a little rectangle there so I don't have to paint in the middle of that. Yeah. After two days, two coats, and just taking all the tape off, we have a painted roof. So what this now means is we can continue with our framing and get the rest of this roof deck up. Hell yeah. Hi, October. Hello, baby boy. Hello. So this is October. The stray that found us in October. Of course, fitting that he <laughs> is black with green eyes. And it turns out he was sleeping in the bus. So we already have an OG bus kitty cat. And he likes to hang out in here even when I'm working on it. Huh. So cute. All right, I'll let you keep snoozing. I love you, October. Oh, good, 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 good boy. 
Happy winter solstice. It is officially the first day of winter, even though it's felt like winter for some time now. And we finally got our Christmas tree in the bus this year and lit up, which looks really, really pretty at night. So recap on yesterday. I got up on the roof and I put two cross beams up for the roof deck. I put them right where the two boards that run the length of the bus meet to be kind of tightened and joined together. So before I go ahead and continue framing the rest, I actually have to figure out the skylight and frame that out first. So I'm going to get up on the roof with a template that I made to kind of figure out where it's going to fit exactly, how it's going to fit. That way I put the beam to frame it in the right place of course. So what we decided for the skylight is that we wanted it to be actually laid up on the deck level and since the deck is about four to five inches above the roof that means we will have to create um, walls once we cut it out. Walls that kind of go up to meet to the actual skylight hatch which will be great because James will actually be able to stand up fully somewhere in the bus. So I know that's going to be quite quite a challenge and it's going to take a lot of thought and meticulous efforts to get it to work and be sealed properly and to look and feel the way we want but I think in the end the hard work will pay off and I think James will be very happy about it. So ideally this is where it's going to be. I'm extremely happy that there's actually a gap on the side because just above is where the beams that go across are and looks like there will be enough clearance there. So, okay, I think this is gonna work. Let me get on the roof and see how it works up there now. So this is where it'll be positioned. Obviously it'll be up like this. And it is directly where I believe this bolt is. All right, so this is ideally, yeah, exactly the width it need to be. And it does go right where that bolt is, which actually works out great. Um, so I should remove that, slide this board into place, and then drill into the actual board with the, where the, where the hole is. All right, those are out. Would you hold me if I told you we can just run away so come my darling let me help you we can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else that help ourselves leave our troubles upon the shelf Most of these deck board frames up. We still have to go back and secure things, but this is the table that we want inset into the roof deck. So our next plan of action is to try and frame 
supports around where the table is gonna rest. It's a lot more extensive than that. But we'll start with that and see and see where we get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have our dinners. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our drinks. The yep. hangouts. It'll be and worth it. It's gonna be where we're hiding from wildlife. It's gonna be mountain lions and bobcats and lions and tigers and bears and oh we're my. gonna be up here safe on the roof with hopefully this table attracts attracts some bees or something. That'd be pretty cool. Oh look at that little smiley faces over there. Who's that? Get out of here, get out of here. Alright. I need to thaw out for a sec and then um then let's get going on this, see what we can get done. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. It's a new morning. We have our blocks ready to go to start framing up around the table. We have to retrace our new center though. And then from there we'll take it step by step to figure out what we have to do. All right, so marked our new spots where the table is gonna lay so we can set up our beams. Going across right there. Okay. Not too low. <laughs> Wrong angle. Dude, I might need a smaller bit to get down to that bottom. Yeah, we don't, we're not gonna need that bit. <laughs> Too long, too long. I mean, the only thing is, it's not gonna be able to go in through the pocket hole. Hmm? That's my only thing. Hmm. See if this goes in far enough. <laughs> no. Okay. So I guess we need to back that one. And I'm just gonna have to try to get it in as far as I can. The bottom one's gonna be a disaster though. Hey Andy, question. For these Craig Jig pocket holes, are there different bit lengths? Oh, I need a shorter one. I can't get in between these posts. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. And I'll do my best. I'm like just in, but like I can't get the angle. Exactly how I pictured this going. Classic. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get these in without this being shorter, but long enough to still. No way. All right, let me pull out. Let me pull out trusty Google and see. <laughs> We just uh, we were, took a little break and went to breakfast with Kelsey and Nick, who are here visiting from Maine. Hello! Hi. So the restaurant was right next to where we need to go, Ace, to get some uh, equipment here to hopefully get this framing done. Here we go. Shoes off. Shoes are off. <laughs> Look at that big footprint here. What's, I told you, see? Clear as day. Thank you. I tried to get him to take his shoes off, but he needed to have his slippers on. What do you think? Very cool. Right? I love that. So this is the table I painted. That's pretty. It's going to go right there. It's what we're framing out right now. Got it. And so all this will be roof deck except for this little part will be skylight. So cool. And there will just be sunning up here. Hell yeah. Hanging out. Will you get seatbelts so like passengers can ride around? <laughs> up here? Yeah. No, I'm mm. down. <laughs> Since you're up here, I mean, we could just, you want to do some work? Nope. Come on! Way too many mimosas. Oh, to do dang any quality it! Work today. <laughs> so the you can help us figure out this new uh, right, bit we got. All right. 
What are we figuring out? I don't know, he's getting the drill out. We got a new drill. Oh, now I'm excited. Oh, good too. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is cool. 90 degree action here. 90 degree action so we can actually get in here because with the drill we couldn't and we were mm -hmm. struggling and trying to do other things mm -hmm. and it was just, it was failing on all accounts. Yeah. Oh, I should have probably should have figured, oh. Oh, I like. Okay, so. Goes anywhere you want to go. That is amazing. Wait, wait. This is the tool we needed. Spin it again though? Well, like you, well, okay. I'm sure it'll be. Yeah, okay. Ooh! I was just making sure. <laughs> I'm working. Like it. <laughs> yeah, so. that thing's gonna click when it does. It goes. <laughs> it's in <laughs> impacting it. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, make it look good. What, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you on the right angle? He's had right like side. 16 mimosas. He <laughs> yeah. can't get what? We can't have him do this. <laughs> Let me just make sure we're gonna put this board on oh, yeah. straight. You know what do they say? Measure twice. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hold this and literally crank it. That's gonna be it, right? Keep going, I think. There we go. Yeah. Now I feel it. Oh yeah. Oh nice. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Okay, let's do Lunch this time. now. What? <laughs> Boom. Yeah. And it's, yep. There you go. That's it. Mm-hmm. You've made contact. Yeah, there we go. Woo! All right. Encore, let's keep going. <laughs> that looks good. That's the best piece right there. Best piece. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be cool. All right. Nice. Oh, forever oh. part of the bus. Cool. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Nick, and this is a bus. And we're making a bus house. <laughs> yeah. Bye, I love you. Let me know if you need me to send Nick back. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We will gladly take him. Cool. Maybe Woo! Warms up. <laughs> Maybe one we're working inside the bus. Inside the bus, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, no, drive good. safe. Bye. Bye. All right, well, back to work for us. Now that we have the right tools. And then there were two. See if we can make some progress. <laughs> Leave the way for somebody else to help themselves. Leave that trouble. So don't you worry, we're gonna find All we need is our sunset paradise Part A is done. Now that we have kind of an outline, now we need to go back and figure out the angle to put boards here that come out just far enough for the deck boards to rest on and have some support. here for your deck boards to meet up to and it'll create that support and this table stand on it is very <laughs> supported now huh yeah solid 
on top of the bus with socks, everyone. <laughs> this is OSHA certified. So, this will be epoxied. So it will be thicker and stronger than as it is now. That also means mm -hmm. we will have to Ooh. be actually cutting down a little bit these boards that are directly underneath it so it meets up perfectly with the deck boards. But we'll face that challenge when we get to it. Yeah. But this looks great. I'm very happy with it. Mm -hmm. You're happy with it? I'm very happy with it. Are you happy with You're, it? Yeah. They're happy with it. <laughs> Oh, little buddy. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's get this table down and call it a night. All righty. Mm -hmm.